Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from the Red Lessons channel. Welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And in today's episode, I am super excited to be sharing with you my thoughts on a fragrance from the company Zoologist. This is their newest release and it's called Tyrannosaurus Rex. So stay tuned. This fragrance was released just this year in 2018. The perfumer behind this composition is Antonio Gardoni. For those of you who don't know, he has his own brand called Vogue, and he also collaborated on a scent for Bruno Fazzolari. I know it's this animalic dark chocolate kind of a scent. Now here, Zoologist has enlisted his help in bringing you the newest uh, iteration of an animal. This is an extinct animal and a prehistoric animal, and it's called Tyrannosaurus rex, or abbreviated to T-Rex. Now, I do want to mention, uh, before I start talking about the scent itself, there will be a giveaway attached to this video. Please make sure to stay tuned until the very end of the video so you know what you need to do in order to enter. And I will be giving away this official travel atomizer of this scent. So, I must say that this is by far the most thrilling scent that Zoologist has ever put out. For those of you who are not familiar with the brand Zoologist, they make fragrances that either smell like animals or, and quite literally, they do contain uh, some animal notes, but they are all vegan and vegetarian because they use um, synthetics. And so there's no real musk or real civet or real castorium or anything like that uh, in their fragrances. So they either use the animal notes or they try to recreate the habitat in which that animal would live. So this one is a terrifying composition. It's dark. It's smoky, it's a little bit sultry, but at the same time, it's very intriguing. And this is really one uh, that will appeal to those who are fans with the artistry of perfumery. I think this is an awesome fragrance. I'm excited to tell you what I think of it. Let's start things off with the gorgeous limited edition presentation. So here's the presentation of the limited edition version of Zoologist Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, you know it's limited edition because instead of it being in black, it's actually in red. And the T-Rex is wearing sunglasses. The regular edition, he does not wear sunglasses. He's kind of dressed up as a mobster. The creative director told me that that's what he was going for. It does have this magnetic flap. They used to have the drawer style boxes. Now you open it up just like this. It has the notes, the perfumer, a breakdown of the scent, and also a silhouette where the bottle rests on the inside. Really cool attention to detail. And then here's a gorgeous bottle. I love the way that it looks. The color of the liquid is really dark. The cap gives you a very snug fit. You can pick it up from the cap. Um, I'm not going to spray this one just because it is a limited edition. I'm hoping to uh, acquire the regular version, which I will gladly wear. And in the meantime, I've actually been wearing the um, travel atomizer, which I will be giving away. So let's go ahead and continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get a lot of leather. You're going to get a lot of incense. There's all the banum used in here, which is, of course, frankincense. But the leather note really dominates this blend. It's very smoky, something that I would equate to the smell of birch tar or cade oil. And you can even tell by taking a look at the uh, liquid inside. It's a very dark liquid. And that kind of conveys how dark this fragrance it really is. This is by far, I think, one of the darkest scents that Zoologist has ever put out. It's definitely one of the more intriguing ones that Zoologist has ever put out. And this one doesn't really rely on an animal note per se, but this is sort of a metaphor of a perfume that really tears into the more delicate releases by other brands. Because there's nothing delicate by this one. It's very aggressive, it's very headstrong, and it comes at you full force. So it has the leather, it has the incense, it has some other spices in here. I know there's nutmeg used in here. It has fur. It's such a dense note breakdown. and. Uh, I actually had the opportunity of meeting up with the creative director, Victor Wong, and he was telling me about this perfume in, in detail at length at Perfumery in Soho, which is one of my favorite boutiques to visit. So cool. And he was telling me that he included, or the perfumer, Antonio Gardoni, included a rose oxide note in this fragrance to kind of convey the smell of blood. And so you can almost imagine like a very aggressive, headstrong Tyrannosaurus Rex just biting into everything that it crosses paths with. And uh, it's so dark and smoky. And this is one that really opened up my eyes. And I think when I smelled it for the first time, which was right in front of the creative director, I think he saw that sparkle in my eye as well. Because when I smell it, it really reminds me of some of the more dark 
uh, but really appealing scents out there like Interlude Man by Amouage or Patchouli 24 by Le Labo or Bois Secar by Atelier de Sore. There's just something so challenging but not in a hard to wear way. There are a lot of really likable elements to this one too. You have the nutmeg, you have the fur, you have the rose which kind of conveys that bloody nuance that I was talking about before but it also makes it a little bit smooth in its approach. In the opening it's really vibrant and it's really peppery. There's black pepper in here too with the incense and it makes it quite aggressive but once you give it a chance to dry down that smoothness does come into play and you have these earthy facets and it kind of recreates the feeling of being in the desert and being in this dry arid climate where this gargantuan creature just stomps and has free reign over everything in its path. I think this is such an artistic scent that will really appeal to lovers of the artistry of perfumery and so I'm so excited to have this bottle in my collection thank you so much Victor for giving me this opportunity and this is one that I will treasure and for that reason I actually haven't even sprayed it yet I've been using this one which will go to one of my subscribers so thank you Victor I really appreciate you for that I'm so excited to see what zoologists will be putting out in the future let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment now first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is without a shadow of a doubt one of the most unique fragrances that I've ever put my nose on. It definitely reminds me of the sensation that I had when I smelled fragrances like Towers Lair du Desert Marocain, Comme de Garçon Eau de Parfum, some of these more creative, artistic, avant-garde creations. This is definitely in that same wheelhouse. In terms of the overall smell, this is a fragrance that's not going to appeal to everybody, especially if you're a fan of some of the lighter, more easygoing carefree, wispy, citrus-based aquatic fragrances. So definitely make sure to sample before you buy, but links will be down below if you are interested in checking it out. Longevity on this one is nuclear. I got 12 plus hours and the projection on this one, despite the fact that it doesn't have a whole lot of citrus in here, did project beyond an arm's length. So you have to be very careful and conservative with the application, unless this is your kind of smell and you are unapologetic the same way that uh, T-Rex is unapologetic, then go ahead, apply liberally. It's all up to you. In terms of versatility, I think this one would work well in the colder months. I also think that this one is one to be worn dressed up. If you are the type of person that, you know, you kind of feel like this would go well with like a leather jacket or ripped jeans or something like that, then I think it would match that wardrobe as well. But given the way that it smells, I think this one would really shine in a nice suit and tie when worn in a very light application. I think this one definitely appeals to somebody who's a bit older, more sophisticated and mature and set in their way. And I think... I don't believe in gender when it comes to fragrance, but this contains a lot of notes that people would be quick to classify as a masculine release. And so just keep that in mind. In terms of the presentation, I love the presentation. It certainly has this um, iconic look to it. A lot of the newer bottles don't have the drawer style, but they have the magnetic flap. I love the introduction of that. And I feel like with every release, it gets better and better. So keep up the fantastic work. My final verdict on this one is that I love this scent. And I know uh, Victor Wong from Zoologist definitely saw the twinkle in my eye when I smelled this for the first time. And this really highlights, showcases, and exemplifies the artistic um, you know, know-how that goes into creating a perfume of this kind. So thank you, Victor, for giving me the opportunity to wear this one and to own it. I really appreciate it. So if you do want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and let me know according to either the animal, the write-up, or the notes contained within that perfume, which fragrance from Zoologist Perfumes would you be the most interested in trying or owning? And uh, just leave your comment down below. You don't have to subscribe to this channel, but um, if you did take something of value from this video, I would definitely appreciate your subscription. I will pick the winner in one week's time by pinning the winner's comment to the top of this uh, comment feed. So make sure to tune back into this video in a week to see if you've won. That's it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.